Right, uh, let's estimate a straightforward OLS equation. It's the demand for chicken model, where we've got demand for chicken. That's our dependent variable, and that's a function of the price of chicken. Income. The price of pork. And the price of beef. Okay, what coefficients do we expect? That's a question as economists we should always ask ourselves before we run a model. So, okay, what's our model look like if we write it out by hand? That's what it looks like. Quantity demand for chicken is a function of the price of chicken, income, the price of pork, and the price of beef. So, what are our coefficients going to look like? Well, let's look at our first coefficient, beta 1. That should be negative because we expect as the price of chicken goes up, the quantity of demand of chicken should go down. That's first year micro. Income should be positive. Pork and beef, well, they're substitutes. So going back to first year micro, as the price of a substitute goes up, the quantity demanded for the other good goes up as well. So that should be a positive coefficient for beta 3. And it should be a positive coefficient as well for beta 4. Now you'll notice here, I've just talked, going back to beta 1, about it being negative. I haven't talked about magnitude. I haven't mentioned the elasticity word. Why not? Well, again, go back to first year micro. This is a linear equation. On a linear equation, we know the price elasticity demand varies as we get down a demand curve. So there is no common price elasticity demand here. So we don't use the word price elasticity demand. We will do in a later tutorial where we're going to transform the model so we can talk about constant price elasticity demand. Okay, back to Grail. That's our equation all set up. So let's click on OK and run it. What do we see here? Well, we see that constant is highly significant. That suggests there's some variables or some information out there we haven't captured. Now they might not be capturable. We sometimes just as a fact of life. Again, 99.9% .9 statistical significance. That's what the three stars mean. You can tell that by the T-ratio. You can tell that by the probability value. Let's move on to the price of chicken. Price of chicken, also statistically significant. 99.9% .9 level. And we notice the coefficient is the white sign. So that's good. Income, not significant. Price of pork, however, the substitute is significant. Again, white sort of sign positive. Again, 99.9% .9 statistical significance. Let's look at some of the other features of the model then, shall we? Let's look at the adjusted R squared. Remember, multiple independent variable model should be looking at the adjusted R squared, not the R squared. Very good. Very close to one. In practice, in the real world, to be brutally honest, you won't always get this, but here you have got it. So it looks like a very good model in terms of its explanatory power. So, like I say, a nice straightforward model. Let's have a quick graph of the fitted and actual values against time. What are we getting there? They're moving quite closely together. One thing to keep your eye on here is if the blue line and the red line are above the blue line is above the red line at the beginning and then below the red line at the end that could be a problem with your data but here no such problem with your data everything looks nice everything like i say looks very nice with this model so let's shut it down for a second close this window let's have a look at some of the other things we could do we could have added a time trend to the variable model we've done that now Time trend's been added. Whoops. Always remember you need to add the independent variable. If you don't want to add the dependent variable each time, once you click it, click set as default. If you're doing an old bunch of models, that's a sensible thing to do. We're using the same dependent variable again and again and again. Okay, click on OK. What do we notice here again? Constant is highly statistically significant. Price of chicken, again, negative. Not as significant as before, only 99%. Notice the time trend, highly significant. 
these should be flagging up to you there's something wrong with the data here that's actually causing us a problem we'll come back to how to fix this problem in a later tutorial so that's a simple OLS regression <laughs>